it back down. He's out to an open Harris. He splashes through a three-pointer, and Virginia strikes first. It's three to nothing on the, on the ground. It's a loose ball. Minnesota's going to hold on. Here's an alley up upstairs to Mbakwe, who throws it down off of a great feed. We won the Puerto Rico tip-off, beating Carolina and West, uh, uh, rather uh, West Virginia on the way. Mustafa Farrakhan drove the lane. He had a shot partially deflected. Minnesota goes the other way. Sizes is up another three, and he drains it from the far way left. Virginia trailing 18 to 7. Pull up jumper Mike Scott from 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Good looking shot for Mike Scott. Nine. Minnesota with a lead, 934 to go. Opening half. Barron feeds far way right. Terracon uncorks a three pointer, and he drains it this time. See what, when, I, when I saw it, I was just reading my defender uh, when I was coming off the screens. I seen that he was a step late, so um, Coach Bennett and the staff always tells me when my feet are set, um, I'm a really good shooter. So I just tried to get my feet set. Once I seen the first two go down, I was just telling myself, just remember that rhythm. Set the offense up with 6.13 to go in our opening half. It's a three-point try, and Joe Harris bangs another one home, this time from the far wing right. Mood, came out and he was hitting everything, so that was great having him hot. And I mean, we were down a little bit in the beginning, but that's one of the things that we've been kind of making the focus out of is not hanging your head and keep battling, just working one step at a time to, you know, kind of slim down that lead and then push for it after there. Harris with the ball now. Far wing right, passes to Cheryl, now to Farrakhan. He flicks the wrist from three and he hits it again. When you're not scoring, it does put a lot of pressure in defense. So the fact that Mood could at least keep us within 10, within nine. Uh, was important. And you see a lot of inexperienced mistakes, guys rushing, silly turnovers, trying to take it too deep, um, and stuff we just got to be sounder and learn and, and do it out of the blocks. We just have been getting tired of transition baskets. I mean, the ability, we, we talk all the time about the things that will get you beat, eliminate losing, and it starts with getting your defense set. We use the, uh, the don't take arrows in the back is the, the phrase we use. And they kept getting down the floor. It's like our guys either would forget to match up or we had troubles. And in that first time out in the second half, I just, you know, I, I said, we're either going to send four back or you're the second you don't go back, you're coming up. Just down with Mike Scott, draws the double team, kicks it out. Will Sherrill for three. This one is perfect from the top of the arc. The last is dribble. He'll pass it off to Harris. Comes around a curve. It's a 13-foot jumper from the elbow. Joe Harris, as a freshman, was uh, he did some things that were very uh, unfreshman-like. I told Mu uh, before, right before the game, I said the last two practices were the best I've seen. He threw himself into the team, and uh, you know he's so competitive. And he, you know, in your last year, you want to play and. And uh, I think he, he just said, you know what, I'm going to do whatever it takes. And I saw him more vocal in our last two practices, uh, more team-oriented than I've ever seen. And we needed his, we need him. We need his athleticism, his ability to guard. He certainly had his stroke going. And uh, just really let the game come. When you shoot that well, it helps. But he let the game come. And I think that when, when Moo does that, he's a very effective player. Come alive. Evans will pass it off to Farrakhan. Thought about a three, attacks him away. Floats up a little teardrop on the other side. It's an air ball. Mike Scott gets the offensive rebound. It puts it right back up and in off the window. But then we started moving with a little three-man motion, and I thought that was very important for us. Joe actually got going in that, but Mike, they couldn't just lock him in on a side. He started moving, and then they started switching, and Mike has some touch. So I was happy for Mike because he played really well the last two games down at Maui, or in Maui, and then uh, he backed it up. Dribbles between the defense, now feeds it out. Three-pointer on the way. Hollins missed it strong. Rebound to Iverson. Iverson tries to put it back up. He's rejected by Hassan Sen. 6.46 to go, Virginia trailed by 10 at the half. Here's Harris firing away from three, he got it! Joe Harris bombs away from the near wing right, and that lead has extended now to nine points. The offense has been better, Virginia has owned the half. Here's Harris going past the defense, up and under move, no good, Hassan Sam, the offensive rebound, and he was collapsed upon underneath. The one thing Hassan has always been since I've been here is active and willing. He'll set screens. Um, you know, he worked hard this summer. He had a good preseason, and he uh, he's worked hard on his shot. But I thought keeping some of those balls alive and then just defensively not having to trap the post all the time, he, he stepped up, and that was pivotal for us. Full court pressure. 
for the seventh point game. Inbound pass to Mike Scott. He feeds ahead to Harris. Harris looks to put up a runner. It's no good. Hassan Sen for the offensive rebound, and he was fouled. Hassan Sen, four offensive rebounds now here from Hassan. He puts it up. It's good. So he makes good on one of two, and it's an eight-point game. Pass it back to Jontel. 140 to go, 15 seconds to shoot. Mike Scott pump fakes, gets his man in the air. Ball hangs on the rim, and it drops a big-time shot from Mike Scott and an opportunity in a three-point play. Uh, along with Mike, uh, KT was struggling at the line, made some free throws uh, in Moose game. So I mean, everybody made some big plays. Three seconds to go. John Tell Evans dribbles it out. There's the horn. Put it in the books. Virginia, the first team in America to knock off Minnesota. Our score, 87 to 79. The Maui tournament helped us play against three good teams. But it's a great team tonight, and I think it's just helping us. We're we'll going to play against a great team Sunday. So it's just helping us on this road with our team bonding, you know, just staying together.